am still Wade McGinnis, and today we're going to be replacing the heater cord on a Dodge Cummins. So today we're going to show you a really simple video and talk to you about your block heater cord on your Dodge Cummins truck. So the block heater cord that is we currently offer does from if you got the right style heater from 89 Dodges all the way up to the 2016, 2017 trucks. Now, um, a word on that, some of the later model trucks, the 67 trucks did not actually come with the block heater cord, but the block heater is in the same place. So we're going to show you where the block heater is. That way you know you can purchase the cord, add the block heater on. Um, so this truck has got a failed cord. Now a lot of people the first time if you tr plug your truck in and you, you don't get uh, uh, and the heater doesn't work the first thing people think is okay the heater's bad. Well what we tend to find is more than likely you've probably got a cord problem as opposed to a heater problem and I'm going to show you that real quick on this truck. So this was a this is one of our sales guys trucks and he went to plug his truck in the other night and a big ball of fire shot out of it out of his plug so i knew at that time the way he had been storing his plug inside of his bumper on a couple of sharp edges there he probably had a broke wire i like to test continuity uh, the the electrical purists on this are going to beat me up for it, but i like to test continuity on this so i'll set my continuity tone up when i'm testing the when I'm testing the cord, I'll go to the neutral and the hot uh, plug side, and you can hear on this one, no tone, so we've got a broke wire. Now, if I take the plug and I bend it back, you can hear the, you can hear the continuity tone going off. That's because this plug has got a broke wire right there. So the continuity to the plug is broke. And that's what we tend to find inside of these. The cords over time, they will rub against stuff, rub against the intercooler pipe, or they haven't been zip tied up correctly. They rub all the way through. Now, when you're testing continuity, if you've got one, if you've got a cord that's laying on an intercooler pipe and it's still going to have continuity, but it's shorted, you're still going to have tone. So the continuity test is not going to tell you exactly that you've got something like that. It can also be identifying a short. So to identify a short, what you need to do is you'll need to, and here's our new cord, you'll need to disconnect the cord from the block heater itself. If you disconnect it from the block heater itself, then you test continuity at your plugs, at your, at your, uh, at your plug then and you get a continuity tone with it unplugged from the heater that means that you've got a short in it so you've got to replace the cord as well so you can also test the heater uh, element itself by checking the resistance on it to make sure that it that it's got a little bit of resistance but for this application we definitely know we've got a bad cord so i'm going to show you where the plug is where the block heater is located on these trucks and we're going to run the cord no need to show you how to run a cord you just run the cord where it's not touching anything that's going to rub through it then get it to where you've got access to it on the outside and install it and one other thing i want to talk about with block heater cords or a couple of other things i want to talk about with block heat with block heaters number one if you've got an older truck and you live in a little bit colder climate we're in kentucky it's not really really cold here but there's a few months out of the year that you know it gets down there in the teens and whatnot so we've got a little bit colder weather the trucks do fine trucks that have got glow plugs and dodges that have got uh, intake air heaters you're going to get a start condition it's not going to be that bad but the thing about the block heater is is its convenience uh, and its comfort if you plug your truck in in the colder temperatures you go outside and you go to start the truck you're going to have almost instant heat it's going to be easier on the vehicle the trucks that have got a lot of miles on them or even maybe some of the trucks that might have a compression issue that you don't know about it's also going to make it a little bit easier on the vehicle itself one thing i use at home is a cord that's got an led light in it if I ever have a problem and my truck doesn't seem like it heated up overnight, and you tell that by the wait to start light, we'll talk about that. But if you ever get in your truck and you see, and the wait to start light is on for a very long time on a cold morning, but you know that you've got, if you've got this cord that's got the LED light in it, you know that your problem is not on your house side. If you're like my wife, she'll plug so many things into something, she'll pop the GFI or she'll blow a breaker or something. If a power problem from my house because my wife has plugged too much stuff in, this LED light will tell me that. Now, 
talking about um, just the comfort and uh, 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 of, of plugging your truck in again you're gonna have a little bit of heat you're gonna have a little bit easier of a start uh, so it's just a good idea so we're gonna roll over we're gonna show you where the block heater is located how to get the cord off of it and get it changed out so important part of this video we're actually going to show you where the block heater is now on the 5.9 and the 6.7 Cummins both the block heater is directly behind the oil filter if you're looking for it to install your cord on your later model trucks that didn't come with the cord so Adam's going to zoom directly in on that end right there the block heater is directly behind the oil filter there it's just got a little silver cap it's right underneath of that oil line you got it and it's just got a little silver screw on that holds it down so we'll just uh, we'll unscrew it real quick and we'll get this one switched out now when you're taking the block heater cord out also you're going to want to remember the orientation of the of the uh, of the plug in and the reason why I say that is because I don't think the polarity matters on it but I just like to try to go back as close as I can there so I know that my my round that my uh, plug-ins they were they were flat they were parallel with the block so that's the way we're going to reinstall real quick no need to show you how to route the cord different ways to do that you guys have got different trucks on different uh, options on your truck so you've got uh, uh, not all trucks are going to be the same so I'm gonna and do not force it make sure that you get the that you get the plug the same so go ahead and push that in make sure that the ground tab on those is flat as well and of course I lost the right there all right all the way up and we'll tighten that down then we'll replace our air intake horn we'll route our cord out to the side so the customer's got access to the cord to where we can plug her in so block heater cord 5.9 and 6.7 Cummins if you have a question about this installation or any of our other installations or products please give us a call like and subscribe to our YouTube channel thank you for watching